Good morning. It's James from Little Already Press Bookshop. And uh, we've got big news this morning. We're open for the first time in what seems like a millennia. Uh, Charles will be there today until 6 o'clock. We open at 10 o'clock. Uh, we've done our best to make it safer for uh, people coming in our store. Uh, first of all, we moved, if you've been to the store, we moved those big bookshelves out so we have a big open area now in the store. Those have been moved out to where Holy Rollers, where you, uh, they serve you donuts and coffee and you can sit out there and talk. It's where I read to kids and stuff. Uh, so that's, that's closed and that's, so you don't have to worry about a crowd in there. Uh, we're gonna be uh, wearing our masks and we would also like to uh, ask you to wear your mask to keep everyone safe. I'm here to talk about two bookshelves this morning and I, I wanna remind everybody that uh, one of these shelves will be on uh, uh, bookshop.org. You click on uh, find a bookstore, you get to ours. Uh, the, and it will also be on Libro uh, FM. Again, everybody, that FM always throws me. Uh, and that's the, our uh, audio books and allows us to compete with Amazon and the monopolies of the world. Uh, Two new bookshelves, uh, Gardening Horticulture and Urban Agriculture and uh, Nature, Naturalists, Birders, Loners, and Hermits. Uh, and I'll go over both of those lists. The first one on horticulture and uh, spe specifically on urban gardening is gonna be real helpful to those of you that wanna start your garden. A later day, I'll be interviewing Ron Farrell who is, a, is an expert on urban gardening. Uh, but it's a, uh, we've got uh, a list now. Uh, uh, Paul Mays helped me put it together along with Ron Farrell. I'm getting input from other people. Uh, but in the Paseo, uh, they're two of the uh, best urban gardeners there are in Paseo. Uh, we need our own kind of garden tour in Paseo so you can see all the urban gardens. Uh, the second, list is is one that I really enjoyed putting together it's a uh, nature naturalists birders loners and hermits uh, there are about 30 books in this list and uh, and actually most of these I've read uh, I also talked to uh, a couple of people uh, a uh, guy that's one of the best birders in the state. I talked to him about books on birding. Uh, but I know a lot of them, and uh, I want to just run over a few of the books that are on there uh, quickly. I'm trying to keep these to under five minutes. That's difficult for me. I think, for me, the classic Pilgrim at Tinkle, Tinker Creek by Aunt Annie Dillard. Uh, set in Virginia. Uh, it is, uh, it, it one, at one point, it, 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 you can cringe as a reader at the next moment you're embracing nature, and the next moment you're seen from far above with a great perspective on where we fit uh, in nature and the universe. One of my favorite, favorite books of all time. Uh, the second is really a standard. Uh, if you haven't read it, uh, I recommend it. It's by uh, Edward Abbey, Desert Solitaire, and it's about his year uh, at Zion uh, National Park. So if you're interested or you're going to Zion, this is a must read, a must read. Uh, a couple others that I have in there that, uh, one that's uh, I haven't read yet, but it's called A Whole Life. And uh, let me read the back of it. It's set in the mid 20th century. It's told with beauty, tenderness. Uh, Robert C uh, Seethaler's whole life is a story of a man's relationship with an ancient landscape, the value of solitude, of the arrival of the modern world, and above all, of moments of great and small that make us who we are. Uh, this is it, a whole life. Uh, I'm just now cracking this book. Uh, along with another book, uh, this is a, a, a novel, I guess. It's also a Pulitzer winner, as 
uh, pilgrim at Tinker Creek was. It's called the Overstory. It's uh, enchanting to say the least. It, uh, it's just a hard book to explain, but it's really about trees and it feels like trees are observing us. Uh, I would call the trees the protagonist of this, of this Pulitzer Prize winning book, The Overstory. Uh, now, one that I've had in my library since, well, when was it published? Oh, uh, it was uh, 1941, so I'm guessing I picked up this book in about 1974, 75, and it's Steinbeck's The Log from the Sea of Cortez, and it's uh, about his journey in a tuna boat with the naturalist Ed Ricketts, who is the uh, main character in Cannery Row. Uh, it's his observations as they uh, leave from uh, the southern uh, coast around uh, Monterey, no, around uh, Newport, I believe. Uh, so I have, it's been a while, and they take uh, they go down the western side of the Baja Peninsula and in the northern Baja, northern California, or no, northern Baja, down to the south, and they circle up into the Sea of Cortez. And uh, it's a beautiful, beautifully written book. And if you like. Uh, Journeys. This book's a good journey book also. Also, I wanted to show you something that we have in the store. I carry them around with me everywhere. I'm, uh, I'm starting to do some uh, minor birding myself and really enjoying it. And we've got these little books that are called Field Notes and they come in a packet. Uh, sometimes they come with different themes. I think you would enjoy uh, carrying one of these around if you're, if you're going to be a naturalist of any uh, kind, and uh, this is important. Uh, but, but today, uh, later, I'll be interviewing Ron Farrell, and then I'm going to get Paul Mays and uh, be able to go through his garden, both at his, at his house, his farm, and at 612, uh, where uh, gardening is an important part of the curriculum for the uh, pre-K children. I miss you guys. Uh, I won't be in the store for a while, as I've told you before. I'm uh, almost 70 years old and I have heart disease, so I have to be uh, doubly careful. And I miss you guys very, very much. Uh, that bookstore's been, uh, has rejuvenated my life. Uh, I love you. Take care of yourself in these tough times.